we've set ourselves a challenge of doing one run at least a month. So like, we did Badass Mucca last month and we've joined an online group called Virtual Runner and they give a lot of money to charity. So we thought we'd do this one. Running with a blindfold is going to be a massive challenge, obviously. We have a lot of trust with each other, but we're quite good friends. We should be all right, I think, shouldn't we? Yeah, we kick each other for fun on other days of the week. <laughs> so there's a certain trust element there. So hopefully we should be fine with this. <laughs> My name's Sarah, and I'm the manager at the Arndale Centre in Morecambe. We've chosen to sponsor the event again this year, we sponsored it last year, and myself and Glenn. My name's Glenn White, I'm the services manager at the Arndale as well. We're doing this run today because it's a great cause and a little bit of fitness for ourselves. And as you say, we, we sponsor it because it's such a brilliant cause. We're expecting to have a bit of a laugh along the way, to be honest with you. I think it's all about fun. Um, but mostly we're trying to say we want to raise some money for Galloway's, it's such a great cause. Sight loss affects a lot of people and just to put ourselves in their shoes, literally, would be a great thing to, to experience. My name's David Walker and I'm a regular runner at the Lancaster Park Run. Just coming here to really experience what it's like for people who are partially sighted or totally blind to see what it's like running when you can't see where you're going and how it feels. I'm actually expecting to try and do a fast time. I'm the guide, so I've got to be eyes and ears and watch for everything, watch for hazards, watch for trips, watch for people in the way. And it's going to be a fantastic experience, just say, running like I've never run before. We're from Santander and we are encouraged to take part in the community and so we've adopted Galloway's as our community for the year, so we've been helping them and sponsoring for the year. So it's coming up to 12 months now and today we're looking forward to doing this 5k walk. We've got some that are going to run, but a feeling that some of us may take us at a more steadier pace. <laughs> It was a good experience. Obviously, we had a bit of practice beforehand, but obviously you've got to rely on that person who's running with you. But once you get into the running of things, and yeah, it was really smooth, it was really good. It was a good experience. Five kilometres, we soon got it over and done with. Between me and my running partner, we raised £120. Yes, very happy, yes. So we've just run the 5k blindfolded, um, Andrew did the majority of the way blindfolded and I did just did the, the final straight just to give it a bit of a go really. Yeah, it's been a really wonderful experience just to appreciate what people with uh, certain sight difficulties uh, have to go through really. Uh, it's amazing the amount of trust that you have to put in someone else and yeah the experience has been a great one today. We're going to do a little collection at the hospital. I work at the Royal Lancaster Infirmary and we have been doing a, a small collection uh, and there are other people running it today from the hospital as well. Thanks to Kelly, she got me around very safely. And it's amazing the, uh, the amount of concentration and how tiring that actually is when you've got to be so aware. You don't normally have such awareness but when, you, when you're completely responsible for another person who can't see where they're going, it is amazing how aware you have to be of everything around you. <laughs> Oh, that was absolutely fantastic. Love the experience. My blind partner said that halfway through his eyes just switched off and he was totally reliant on me. I got knocked a couple of times. Uh, a little girl ran suddenly across the prom and I had to swerve madly and uh, a dog decided to go towards me as well. Thankfully, um, I was OK and my blind man just carried on. And the time, 19.23, absolutely fantastic. Uh, we beat the time by about three minutes. We went flat out. It was tough. So proud to have done this. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're doing this today to raise some money for Callaway. I haven't done anything like this before. I'm nervous and excited at the same time. I'm doing the run because it's for a good cause and it's also teaching the children about blind awareness. I just think it's a, a great morning to spend with your friends and the children. It's, it's good fun, yeah, we're going to have a good time. It went uh, better than expected, actually. We did it in 35 minutes. I, I was the guide, um, so it wasn't too bad for me. Um, I saw it was coming. Sarah herself was saying that she could hear noises. It was a bit uh, unusual for her, really, not knowing where we were hearing certain noises, but she started to get a bit immune to it, really, and started working out where she was in certain places. So it gives you an understanding how um, people partially sighted and blind themselves uh, have to deal with it on a daily basis. 
I wore the blindfold and Glenn was my guide. It was difficult on the way towards the battery, I think, because I had no kind of idea where I was going. And every credit to everybody that has to do with this on a day-to-day -day basis because the sounds were intensified around me, yet I had no idea what was going on. But great fun. We had a good laugh along the way and hopefully we've raised um, some money for a great cause. Didn't trip up, although I'm sure Glenn wanted to trip me up at some point. <laughs> um, but no, we did really well and we're talking about how quick are we going to do it next year as well, which is good.